Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Jayco Motorhomes. And I'm excited to show you today the brand new 2024 Jayco Seneca 37M. Uh, I'm gonna point out some of the things that are new for this model year, but also just some general features that'd be helpful for you to know as you're considering buying this Seneca. First thing you need to know is this is built on the S2RV chassis, built by Freightliner. The S2RV chassis we started building on in model year 2018 and a half. That's when Freightliner made it available to us. And I can tell you, we absolutely fell in love with this chassis. The reason being is because it has a lot of benefits over uh, the prior chassis we were building on. We were building on the M2 before. This chassis has a 100 gallon fuel tank between the rear frame rails, uh, whereas before we were 74 to 76 gallon saddle tank, which uh, oftentimes customers would have to fill both sides because the transfer pump in it was a little bit slow. But now it's 100 gallons between the frame rails, centered perfectly, and so you're not gonna have a lot of uh, imbalance or, or rocking as you do corners. Uh, next thing about this is you need to know uh, the horsepower and, and uh, the torque, right? So this is a 6.7 liter Cummins uh, engine with a Allison 3000 transmission. Before we had the 6.7 Cummins with an Allison 2000. This S2RV, they bumped it up to the 3000. So we're getting 360 horsepower and 800 pound feet of torque. So this is gonna give you enough power to get up the hills. It's gonna give you enough power to, uh, to catch up with merging as uh, traffic as you're merging onto the interstate. Uh, something that Freightliner did that I do wanna point out is that when they redesigned this chassis, they actually changed the angle of the hood, the hood slope. They actually uh, tapered it down more to help uh, reduce blind spots right in front of you. Uh, this hood is very easy to open. I just do undo the latches on both sides. I grab uh, the center handle, and it's about 15 pounds of, uh, 15 pounds of force uh, that it'll take to open it. Nice thing about it is if you are uh, under the hood and you're working on the engine, if a gust of wind hits the hood, there are gas struts on the inside and it's a slow close. So there's not any uh, danger or potential for you to get hurt in, in the process of working on the engine, changing fluids, etc. cetera. Uh, something I do wanna point out is uh, with Jayco, this Seneca, we do have a front window in the front cap. We've been installing this type of window uh, since 2017, and I can tell you since that time until now, we've had zero issues, uh, zero warranty claims for water infiltration. We were the pioneers of one-piece fiberglass front caps. All of our Class Cs, uh, there's no seams. Our, our walls come all the way to the front. Our bunk platforms come over. That one-piece cap slides on. We're the pioneers of that, and so we spent a lot of money to keep water out of our coaches. And so we spent a lot of money to get uh, the R&D done correctly on that front window so that there'd be no water infiltration. We install that the same way Freightliner installs their chassis windshield. There's about a quarter inch recess, three quarter inch lip. Um, uh, adhesive goes around that. And then we put the, the window in and then they obviously do the same thing with their windshield. The key thing is, is that adhesive as it cures, it never gets fully uh, hard. And so it remains flexible. So um, as this chassis goes down the road, Freight planner knows that road conditions, wind, et cetera, it's gonna buff it a little bit. They want their windshield to be able to move a little bit. Same with our window up in the front cap. Our adhesive never uh, fully sets, it never fully gets hard, and so it does allow uh, movement, and so there's no concern with water infiltration um, or even uh, your front window cracking. Uh, so as I said, an incredible chassis, the S2RV chassis, we were super pleased when Freightliner developed that. As we walk back towards the, the side of the coach, you're gonna notice that we do have uh, side cameras. When I do turn on my turn signal, it's gonna illuminate everything that's in this lane. Uh, simply a safety feature for you. We have a rear uh, backup camera as well. I can tell you that this chassis handles incredibly well. It's a very safe chassis. Uh, we build diesel pushers as well. Common question is, is Corey, if you were to buy one, which would you buy? Me personally, I love this chassis. It's the most serviceable chassis uh, that we build upon. And I say that because any uh, truck center in North America is gonna be able to work on that uh, Cummins Allison combo. Unlike a diesel pusher, uh, generally they're gonna have to remove the bathroom floor, a little bit more of a process, uh, but the most serviceable chassis we build on. And, and nobody ever plans on an accident, but at the same time, if I have all this mass out in front of me, that's gonna be the safest chassis. And so uh, I love how this chassis handles, and I love the safety of this chassis. Uh, we do give you a two-year limited warranty. 
The industry standard is one year. We double that. We're confident in our build quality. We're confident in our engineering. We're confident in, in what we're doing with this unit to give you two years of warranty. Everybody else in the industry is simply a one-year warranty. It is limited by 24,000 miles and then also customer neglect. We are using a Sickens brand uh, paint on this coach. It's a high-end premium paint. Nice thing about that is um, over the years, you're not gonna see any spider cracking through this um, as maybe a cheaper brand of paint would. If you keep your car waxed and polished at home, in 10 years, you're gonna anticipate if you keep your car that long, that your car looks uh, very good, uh, almost as good as the day you bought it. The same is gonna be true for this motorhome. If you take care of the exterior, uh, keep it clean, uh, wax it periodically, it's gonna look beautiful in 10 years from now. So uh, great paint job. Something I do wanna point out that's new for this model year is our entrance door. Uh, this entrance door is uh, really, really a godsend. I know a lot of you folks uh, get frustrated with entrance doors as far as um, there's a, a window shade between your between your door and your screen door. You know, I hate that I, I have to open up my door, get out, close my screen door, close my shade, get back in. Well, with this entrance door, it's different. You're gonna notice that we do not have a shade on the door itself. However, the shade is on the screen door. So from the inside comfort of my coach, I can put my screen up and down and I don't have to leave my coach anymore. So I know a lot of you have been wanting that, you've been requesting that, and we did find a company who's willing to do this for us and we started using it and I can tell you I'm super pleased with it. Another advantage of this door is it's a lot heavier, uh, heavier duty. It's a lot, has a lot more girth to it. And so as a result, it is stiffer and uh, you, can, you can trust on the reliability of this door. You know, this, something like this door, changing, changing to that door um, is just a small thing, but it, it really adds to that two year warranty. We wanna find the best components that are in the market and utilize those. And so this door is an example of that. What I love about Super C's is the storage. Your general class C's are gonna be short on storage. Super C's, however, they are not lacking storage. As you can see, um, we've got a lot of storage in this coach. Um, this, this, uh, this cargo door, we have optioned um, the sliding tray and the cooler in that. Uh, we used that cooler, probably not that exact cooler, but that's that model of cooler. About two years ago, we were working the Hershey show. Uh, a number of us from the factory were. It was hot out, it was unseasonably hot. We got a bunch of waters, put them in there, and uh, there's two compartments. You can use it as a refrigerator and a freezer, or both of them as a refrigerator. We put the waters in the freezer side and set it to zero degrees, and in about two hours, um, there was ice forming in those water bottles. So it works very well. Um, it is 12 volt, so we do have a 12 volt port in there as well. Uh, that is optioned, it's not standard. So we have a pass through up and down the coach and a pass through across the coach. So there's a lot of storage capacity in these Super C's, uh, not only in pounds, but your volume as well. So as you can see, we, uh, we have an awning over our door and then we have a full length awning on this slide. Uh, so just imagine you're out camping, you've got, you've got a lot of footage that you're gonna be covered up and be able to uh, have your camp chair sitting in the shade. If you wanna watch uh, potentially a college football game on a Saturday or NASCAR on Sunday, I don't watch NASCAR, I think it's on Sunday, um, but let's say it is Sunday, you wanna watch that, you can just open that up. Uh, your TV does tilt so uh, you can get your optimum viewing angle. On the roof, there's 200 watts of solar. There's a WineGuard 2.0 Connect, Wi-Fi range extender, as well as uh, 4G and LTE hotspot. So the Wi-Fi range extender is obviously a free function. It'll pick up a weak signal and intensify it, amplify it inside the coach. Or that uh, 4G LTE hotspot, that is a paid feature that you can choose to use. Now on the roof also, you're gonna have a Traveler satellite. That is an in-motion satellite, so going down the road, I can uh, watch standard definition uh, television on my TVs. Those are all smart TVs inside. So recognizing those are smart TVs, brand new for this model year, on the Seneca, we will option the Starlink uh, satellite internet system. That is an option. So we're excited for that because it just opens up a lot of opportunities when you're potentially in BLM area or potentially national parks, um, out in the middle of nowhere where there's not a cell uh, phone signal, that satellite internet will be absolutely incredible for you. A full fiberglass roof, fully walkable, 
Um, we don't have a weight rating on that, but it is a solid sheet. Um, we don't put a weight rating up there because we know what will happen. People will start tailgating up there. Somebody will fall off. Bad things happen. So just want to say fully walkable. Check your seals regularly, um, and that's going to be the best maintenance that you can have on this coach. We have a rear fiberglass cap on this as well as a rear ladder. Uh, there is a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater. Uh, it is a rapid recovery, so if you use both propane and electricity, both of those heating elements, uh, it'll replenish itself about three times in an hour. So this has been a look of the outside of the 2024 Jayco Seneca. Let's go inside and check out the rest. All righty, so we're inside the 37M Jayco Seneca, and I can tell you it's absolutely beautiful. We've made a lot of changes to the interior of this coach this year. It got a complete facelift. Now, first, before we go into those things, I want to show you the front end of the, the coach. Uh, this is all standard Freightliner, except for the Sony head unit and then the equalizer jack system. The rest of it is Freightliner. We also install our own custom seats in here. Um, we do that simply for comfort wise. So um, front overhead bunk, uh, you may not ever use it, uh, but you may. It holds up to 750 pounds. Uh, that's what it's rated at. And so I know some folks who, who do not use this for sleeping, they'll potentially put storage totes up there. Um, maybe maybe a bicycle, anything your heart desires, uh, you can put up here. Uh, we also include overhead here. Uh, these It looks like a seat belt, but it's a, a safety net. So that way if kids are sleeping up there or maybe a overactive adult who likes to roll, um, it'll keep you up here in your bed every night sleeping. Now, one of the things I do wanna point out is the changes for this year. We've done a lot of them. First of all, uh, we changed our, our cabinet door profiles. Second of all, we changed our cabinet colors. And third of all, I think what I'm probably most excited about is we reduced the visible style. So what we did for this model year, uh, we actually started on our Seneca XT. That's the unit that's on the F600 chassis, the four x four. Uh, we started with that unit and then folks loved it. So we carried it over into our standard Seneca. We oversized our doors so that this, this style right here and uh, the cabinet frame would be hidden. So it's gonna look a lot more residential and uh, I think it turned out great. Our engineers did a great job on that. In doing this project, um, as I said, our overheads, we reduced the uh, visible styles, but at the same time, we also added a couple features that I'll show you here in a moment. But inside the Seneca, we do have uh, vinyl plank flooring, so it is residential, so a lot like at home. Uh, it is the click together. We love it, and uh, that got a facelift as well, too, for this year. We did change the, the solid surface countertop colors, so you're gonna have solid surfaces everywhere. Uh, we changed the color pattern in that. Uh, in this in this area, there is a televator just on that switch right there. We have 120 volt outlets, USB ports, uh, power everywhere you need. These theater seats over here, these are power. A uh, great thing about that is I can be sitting here at my theater seat, uh, feet kicked up, watching my television, and it's uh, the perfect environment to just relax. It feels very homey inside of here. We changed our wallboard as well. Uh, the main wallboard color has changed as well as our accent slide out room uh, has changed. Uh, our fascias have changed. Uh, we did a complete facelift, as I said. Uh, so this has been the front of the coach. Let's flip around to the back of the coach and let me show you the rear. All right, so we're in the back of the coach uh, or towards the middle, I should say, but uh, you're looking at me from the front to the rear. And uh, some things I wanna point out, we do have spice, spice racks on both sides of our window here. Uh, that oftentimes is unused space, but we decided to put those in there for you be able to put your salt and pepper, your seasoning salt, et cetera. Um, overhead, we do have a residential size microwave that is convection. So the great thing about this is you can bake bread in it, you can bake pies in it, bake birthday cakes in it, bake anything you want. Uh, it's not just a microwave, it's convection as well. It works the same way as a convection oven. Uh, there is an induction cooktop. Now I will tell you that uh, induction cooktops can be controversial. Uh, that's some of the feedback we get uh, on these videos and I understand that some folks love them, some folks don't like them and I feel oftentimes they don't like them simply because they don't know how to use them or maybe have never used them. What I love about it is the safety aspect as well as the heat aspect. Um, if I turn on a propane burner automatically, I've, I've introduced fire inside of my coach, inside of my house, and I've introduced heat inside of my house. With this, if little junior's running around and happens to hit the on button, it's safe. There's no fire in here. I'm not, I'm not creating heat and fumes. Uh, Junior can put his hand on here and he's not gonna burn himself. Uh, these cooktops are activated by 
uh, special pots and pans. And so it is a great feature. It's a safety feature. And also the nice thing is, is that this runs off of electricity. So either my generator or when I'm plugged into shore power, um, I'm able to utilize this. I'm not depleting my limited resource of liquid propane. So induction cooktop. In us not having um, a traditional oven, but the convection microwave, great thing is, is now we have storage underneath uh, the induction cooktop. So what's new for this year is this bank of drawers is hidden uh, behind the cabinet door. And as a result, it looks like a seamless front area. But a lot of storage in this coach, enough room in this cabinet for a waste basket. You have a sponge holder and then two drawers down below. Still talking about storage, we have the hutch area, enough room in there for uh, some pillows, some blankets, anything you'd like. Um, when you're parked, you can you can put your uh, uh, soccer participation trophies down there, anything you'd like, uh, knickknacks, candles, it works well, and then a fireplace down below. That fireplace is awesome because it is auxiliary heat. Um, on a cool fall day or a cool spring day, I can turn that on and it does heat up the coach very well. So once again, I don't have to burn propane, but I can use the electricity from that. Say it's the middle of the summer and it's too hot, but I still want the ambiance. I can have the dancing flames without the heat. Something to point out is there's a seat belt in every seating position inside this coach. So this is a larger coach. Uh, so seat belts, you have two, four, six, eight, ten seat belts in here. So you could go to um, the football game, to tailgate, and you can bring along um, enough people to have a good time, uh, ten people including yourself. By law, we're not required to put them in your rear-facing dinette. But at the same time, the folks are going to sit there. We want to put seat belts there. So each of our seat belts, just to give you knowledge on how it works, we can't just install them anywhere we want. Our seat belts. If it's a dual mechanism like that's in this dinette, it has to withstand 10,000 pounds of force for 60 seconds. And if it fails, we cannot install the seat belt there. We have to beef up the system. We have to add more steel. In a single mechanism like what's going to be on your theater seat, that's 5,000 pounds of force for 60 seconds. So these have all been tested. They all meet government safety standards. And uh, we're pleased that we are the only manufacturer that does that. We're not pleased that we are but we're pleased that we do. Uh, we wish other manufacturers would do that as well, simply because it's about safety. Um, so seat belts in every seating position. In this front facing dinette, there's two uh, tether areas for child seats. As we come back, you're gonna see a 21 cubic foot residential re refrigerator, ice and water in the door. This is standard at the same time, maybe this is too large for you. We do offer a 15 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator as an option. So standard 21 or we can option a uh, 12 volt, 15 cubic foot. Now this is um, residential, so it is gonna run off your 120 volt uh, current. The whole house is controlled by this Firefly system. So on this system, I can, on my homepage, I can monitor everything, uh, my, my water tanks, my house and chassis battery. I can turn my water pump on here, my tank pad heaters that, that I, if I'd like to, um, my light master on and off. And then I go down, I can uh, look more specifics at my auto gen start. I can set the triggers for that. And then my, my lights, all of the lights in here are dimmable. Um, anything that has an up down arrow, if I push and hold, it will dim it. So internally, everything is, is uh, dimmable. Outside your porch light is not, but your awning is dimmable. When we go down to your HVAC center, um, I can run my front heat pump and my air conditioner if I'd like. I can run just the air conditioner. I can run my furnace um, and then I control my slides, my awning. Great thing about this system is I'm talking about the HVAC system. I can download the mobile app to my phone and as it starts to get, get cooler outside at night and I'm sitting at my campfire and I know before long somebody's going to be coming inside to sleep, at that point I can turn my furnace on and start to warm up my coach rather than have to come inside or just leave my furnace running uh, and wasting liquid propane. So this is great. We love it. We've been using it for years. It's, it's very reliable for us. Coming back into the bathroom, you're going to notice that this is our vintage linen cabinetry. Uh, we feel like we really wanted to set out, set apart the bathroom as, as a standalone room. And so with that, we gave it a very clean look with the vintage linen cabinetry, porcelain toilet, massive medicine cabinet, a lot of storage down below. And once again, you're going to notice a very large shower. So um, a skylight above the shower. So if you're a taller individual, you can stand in the shower without feeling like your head's going to hit the ceiling. So um, we love this bathroom sliding door, uh, closes it off, uh, gives you complete privacy. Uh, coming back, 
Uh, this is a nice size wardrobe. Uh, you will notice um, that there are louvers on this door. So anytime at Jayco, if there's louvers on a door, it means we can option a washer or uh, washer dryer combo. So on this unit, since it is only louvers up top and nothing down below, this is a washer dryer combo that you can option in here. Great thing about the combo is that you can start a load in the morning, you can go out and uh, take the dog for a run on a trail, come back home in the afternoon, and then your clothes will be completely dry. If there is a negative with these combos is you cannot put a large quantity of clothes inside, but the combo is great because it's kind of a set it and forget it, start it, come back, and it's dry. Uh, drawers down below, we have a sliding door back here for um, the bedroom. Uh, great thing about this bed is it is a king size bed and it's on a power lift. I've, I've uh, shown you this to demonstrate that uh, this is as hot as, as, uh, as tall as it'll go, but I can recline it more so I can watch television across and, uh, and have whatever viewing angle I want. And then it's time for me to put my shoes on. We have a nice padded bench here. I can sit down, put my shoes and socks on and get ready for the day. Nice size wardrobe on both sides. Um, uh, enough closet space really for a coach this size. This is gonna be for your uh, one week, two week, three week, four week trips. Um, and I do know some folks even full time in this. And so uh, there's a lot of storage and wardrobe space in this as well as uh, uh, drawers down below. When we come over here to the uh, bedroom area, we do have uh, nice overhead cabinets that are, are large, doors that are large. Once again, um, we oversized the cabinet doors to reduce the visible styles. We did it on our wardrobe as well. And then we do have a 120 volt outlet in this overhead compartment with a grommet uh, that you can run a hose or, or a cord down uh, and still have power up here. Your overhead reading lights, um, I say this uh, because unfortunately some folks have owned their coaches for two, three years. I've seen it on our Facebook owners group. If I push it once, it's blue, great ambiance. Uh, kind of a nightlight sort of thing. But if I push and hold it, that's when it turns into a reading light. Some folks don't know that that's a function of that. So I always like to point that out whenever possible. But um, this has been a, a walkthrough of our 37M uh, Seneca made by Jayco. And I definitely thank you for taking time today to watch this video. If you have any questions at all, contact your local dealer. On our website, there's a dealer locator uh, that will direct you to your closest Seneca dealer. Not every Jayco dealer will stock a Seneca, but the majority of them do. And you can ask them any question that you have. If you have more technical questions, feel free to call our factory. Let them know what state you're from. They will direct you to our regional sales manager who's responsible for sales in your area. And they'll answer any question you have. But again, my name is Corey Weatherton, uh, product development for Jayco Motorhome Group. And I wanna thank you for watching this video today and hope you have a great summer.